Hi, this is Jan and this is another tutorial for Fullbore RT. So I will show you today uh, how to create substance textures and some post process and uh, rendering to output. So I have here some, some simple scene, this, this simple animation. So let's turn Fullbore RT. So and now we will we will try connect uh, substance texture from Maya. Oops, substance textures. So let's let's put here flipper furball uh, material, and now we can connect. We can we can connect uh, material. So and we can uh, we can create we can uh, select material uh, what what do you like for example I don't know uh, some some rocks for example so we have color so let's let's try. Also, we need specular and bump, and not use displacement, but use high map. And you see, and high map is automatically connected to to verbal displacement. So uh, we have not turned on. Subdivision, so it's a little bit, a little bit uh, noisy, and not so much nice. So let's select object, and in variable tab there is a subdivision. So turn on subdivision, and use subdivision three or four. You can, and you have nice, nice stony detail material. So we can. Some specular. We have pretty nice rock material. Completely generated. So. Now we can we can look on, uh, on the new feature in Fribble RT one version point one, and this is a post process effect. So you know we have gamma and expo exposure. So so we have we have uh, one turn on and off for all post process effect, and also you can uh, you can turn on and off each category. For example, here's a exposure. Saturation. So there is a there is a very nice that that uh, image is not not more uh, render again. So when you have render it, so you can you can use post process and it's not render again. So this is a three way color correction. This is a threshold for high high level. So let's make high a little bit blue. Some middle color we can make a little bit, a little bit warm, and low level. Let's make them, make them green. Yeah, and can move intensity and also this threshold. So we don't have any light in the scene. So. Let's add some uh, some light to make better light effects. So make bigger intensity for this this light. It's maybe not so much. And also our correction is a little bit little bit so much red. So another, uh, it's uh, it's a levels. 
uh, color correction node, and also we have we have red, green, and blue values here, and you can you can ch change all all values. So and uh, also you can turn on glow effect. Threshold, yeah, it's here, and glow effect for example, some bigger, yeah, so we have a simple chromatic aberration, so you can let a bit move, so it's so much, so let's do something, something middle. Now we have we have real time color correction, so you can uh, turn on an off feature and see what is the different. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice different. So and at the end, I will I will show you how to how to render variable output. So we have variable node. So we have we can select free range. We will render animation one to twenty frame, for example. Resolution. So we can leave it. We have PNG and we have pass to disk C to the test. So and in the passes we can we can select which pass you can render. So in uh, in one one way we can render any passes you like and there is a defaultly select the main main quality pass. But if you if you want for example some other pass with the different different rays or quality uh, you can you can create another uh, furiball uh, Render render node. So let's create render node. And for example, rename it to to uh, depth. And in this in this level, there will be no color correction, and there will be only one one ray because we don't need we don't need anti-aliasing for the for the depth channel. So let's look. Depth channel. So, the features. Let's select depth channel. Yeah, it could be, or we can we can tune it. our depth channel but on our other channel will be used our default default render node so it's changed everywhere because I accidentally rename the main node but not my duplication so let's say it's okay so this is this is our uh, main render node now this is our depth node, and this is uh, and this is our default node with thirty thirty rays. This not uh, th this is th this this change is only for display. It's not effect for which what render what pass will be rendered out. So and now we can use render and it will it will lock your Maya and it will render in this Maya or you can uh, you can use 
classically uh, batch render which will on the background save the scene and re-render it uh, on the background so let's let's render here so you can see the time estimates and some other information so and this is, this is our channels So thank you for watching and it was very short tutorial for Fulgur RT.